Hi everyone, it's Miss Rosie with the San Diego Natural History Museum. You know, one of my favorite things about living in San Diego is that we can start the day on the beach enjoying the ocean and all the cool breezes and a couple hours later be in another beautiful place, the desert. So the book I have to read today is called Way Out in the Desert. And this is written by T.J. Marsh and Jennifer Ward, illustrated by Kenneth J. Spangler. This is a special book. It has something hidden on each page. Take a look at the little Gila monster here. He says, hey kids, look for the number hidden on each page. Can you find the number? They're kind of, some of them are kind of hard. I have a hard time finding them. Way out in the desert, having fun in the sun, lived a mother horned toad and her little toady one. Scurry, said the mother. I scurry, said the one. So they scurried all morning, having fun in the sun. So take a look. There's our horned toad. And we're looking for that number one. And there's the baby. Do you see the number one yet? Oh, look, there it is. Way out in the desert where the wildflowers grew lived a mother hummingbird and her little hummers too. Sip, said the mother, we sip, said the two. So they sipped and they dipped where the wildflowers grew. So there's a hummingbird, beautiful flowers. You're looking for that number two this time. Look at the babies. Did you see that number two? There it is right in the middle, it looks like a flower. Way out in the desert by the Palo Verde tree lived a mother javelina and her little piggies three. Snooze, said the mother, we snooze, said the three, because they rooted all night by the Palo Verde tree. So they're looking for that number three. Keep looking, did you know a javelina looks just like a pig? It's a special species of pig that lives in our desert, the Sonoran Desert. Take a look right there, there's the number three. That was a little easier, huh? Way out, on the, and way out in the desert near the Ocotillo door lived a rattlesnake mother and her baby snakes four. Rattle, said the mother. We rattle, said the four. So they rattled in the shadow of the Ocotillo door. So take a look. You're looking for that number four. Oh, that rattlesnake looks just looks kind of happy. Rattlesnakes are beautiful, but they're also kind of dangerous. You just want to give them some space. Did you see the number four though? This one was a hard one. It's over here, right there. Way out in the desert where the cactus bloom and thrive lived a mother Gila monster and her little monsters five. Burrow, said the mother, we burrow, said the five. So they burrowed and they dug where the cactus bloom and thrive. Look, there's Gila monsters, they have Lots of real bright colors, sometimes pink, sometimes red. We have one in the museum, you can come visit. But did you see that number five? This one was hard to find. It's right there on the back of the Gila monster. Way out in the desert in a nest built of sticks lived a mother road runner and her little chick six. Run, said the mother, we run, said the six. So they ran chasing lizards near their nest built of sticks. All right, there is all the road runners, six babies and a mom. And we're looking for that number six. Did you see it? <gasps> There's a funny lizard running away from them. But there it was in the nest, the number six. Way out in the desert where saguaros reached to heaven lived a mother jack rabbit and her little jack seven. Snuggle, said the mother, we snuggle, said the seven. So they snuggled all night where saguaros, saguaros reached to heaven. So we're looking for that number seven. This one was a really hard one for me. And saguaro is a, is a cactus that lives in, this, in the desert. Look at all, they're so cute. But did you see that number is seven? It is really hard. It's back over here, right there, number seven. Way out in the desert 
on the old corral gate lived an old scorpion mother and her little scorpions ate. Hold on, said the mother. Well, hold on, said the eight. So they rode on her back at the old corral gate. So you're looking for that eight. Take a look in the desert. So scorpions do carry their babies on their back. Take a look. Isn't that cool? Did you see the number eight? Right back over here. Way out in the desert where the moon shone fine lived a mother coyote and her little pups nine. Howl, said the mother, we howl, said the nine. So they howled and they barked while the moon shone fine. So we're taking a look at all the coyotes. You can see them howling to the moon. Do you see that number nine yet? We're taking a look for that number nine. Do you see it? There it is. Do you see? And the tail of the coyote. Way out in the desert in a prickly pear den lived a mom tarantula and her little spiders ten. Spin, said the mother, we spin, said the ten. So they spun all night in their prickly pear den. So take a look, there is the tarantula. They're beautiful. Some people don't like spiders. I think they're beautiful and very useful. They keep the insects in control. So they don't overcome every look at all those spiders though. Do you see the number 10? That one's kind of tricky. It's upside down right there, the number 10. Wasn't that a fun book? I love the desert, so beautiful, especially this time of year at night um, that you can see so many stars. It's a beautiful time to go to the desert. So the crafts I have for you today are about the desert. Um, this one's kind of fun. I just made a cactus out of my hand. So I took some green paper and made a cactus. I gave it some cactus flowers. I put some little Joshua trees in the background in the sun. I just traced my hand. Can you see I gave it little spines too with some a black marker. So my little hand. And then one of my favorite things about the desert is the sunset. The sunset in the desert is so beautiful. So I made this. This one was really easy. I just tore some paper, some different color paper, and then made the cactus be black so you can see the color behind it. Very fun craft. If you have some watercolors, that would be fun to do a watercolor um, sunset. But sunsets in the desert are just beautiful. Um, one of my favorite things in the world. So I hope you enjoyed the story and have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon.